Hey, get it, guys. It's Calvin from the Couching Company in New Zealand. On my stand today, I have a 3UZ engine. It happens to be a late model, so the uh, 04 to 06 3UZ. I chose it because it's got, the, for me, the more desirable throttle body. We've got a fuel pressure sensor mounted. We've got an oil pressure sensor mounted. The wiring limb is done by Jason. He's done a beautiful job of it. We're on our test relays. You can see we've got a drive-by wipe here. Over there we've got the Haltech 2500. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up that drive-by wire function with the Haltech. And it's super easy. I have cheated and I have loaded one of my own base maps that uh, went to Australia for a man who was running a supercharged UZ with a Haltech. Uh, however, he was running a Bosch drive-by wire throttle body. And the map is a non-VVTi map at the moment. So what I'm going to do is we're going to set up that drive-by wire to suit the uh, 3UZ throttle body. What's up, miss? Come here. What are you doing? Ah, ah, no, get out of the bin. Good girl. Good girl. Do you want to help me set up? Come on. Good girl. We're good to go. Okay, it's so easy, even Poppy can do it. Good girl. Uh -uh. Right, oh, here we are in the. Uh, now I'm running NSP? Yeah, I'm running NSP. Got to get the right software. We're going to confirm that we've got drive by wire ticked on here, which we do. And I have a feeling that um, you've got to watch that you don't have the TPS turned on because it's now through the drive by wire function. So if we go over here, vehicle speed sensor, vehicle speed sensors. You'll see throttle position sensor is turned off. I'm just seeing what else I need to change and check in here. And I'm hoping Jason's wired it pretty much to this one, even though it's a VVTi. I believe he's wired it very, very close to this map. Okay. We're going to go over here. And we're going to engine functions. We drive down, drive a wire. And you've got to be careful if you double tick on here. Where's the wiring? Okay, so we've got to check that we've got all of these wired correctly. And we can see here we've got drive wire TPS1 is very low, drive wire TPS2 is not very low. APS and APS. Now APS is the, the pedal, this fella. And those figures kind of look correct. Though the TPS wiring doesn't look correct. I'm going to go calibration. I'm going to start by setting the the APS. I happen to have a, it's my hand. See my fingers? So we just got to follow the instructions. It's pretty hard if you're a Kiwi male, and I suspect Australian males are the same. We don't like following instructions. But in this case, following them makes it much easier. Ensure the throttle pedal is not depressed and click the calibrate button to continue. Press the accelerator pedal, continue to hold the pedal on this position, and click the calibrate button. It's actually giving me an error. Straight away, it's giving me a calibration error. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to unplug the throttle body.
Right, I'm going to reset that. Let's try again. Let's just double check that wiring, shall we? APP1, APP2. Oh, look at that. Do we see a problem? See, APP1 is not moving. APP2 is what is moving. So I'm going to address that issue, get and do some testing, check if it's a bad connection or what's going on. We'll check that it's not assigned correctly uh, or wired incorrectly. Let me check that. Um, very, very important that on the drive-by wire that the APS and the TPS are in their specified holes via Haltech. Um, somewhere there's a help file on that. It was a little bit tricky to find the first time I did one. Um, let's stick with the accelerator position. So they're calling it APP1, APP2. Um, the Lexus is uh, VPA and VPA2. So voltage pedal assembly and voltage pedal assembly two. Right, so I'm back and we were going over different settings. I've actually gone through and I've done oil pressure and oil temp. Here we go. And configured all those bits and pieces. And I've done some checking with the drive by wire and found this document here, which is what I was looking for. And it goes through the correct placements to put the TPS, TPS 1 and 2, and the APP accelerator position pedal. Accelerator position pedal. This is what we call it. Um, signals into the ECU. And when I looked at that, I then realized that I'd given Jason the wrong wiring. So he'd wired it perfectly to my incorrect instructions, but um, that's I got, it caught me out last time too. So we go through, we've got driver wire turned on. And we see here it's got a little red thing. Um, we make sure that we've turned off TPS. Um, there was some transient throttle I was playing around with just today. And I'm just, I'll while I'm in here, we're going to have a quick look at the ignition switch. Is what I was talking of. We often don't wire it. So you can see here we've got an ignition switch. Up here it's inactive. Um, if it's not wired, we need to turn that ignition switch off. Ignition switch off. And then we stave it with the, or uh, reboot the device. We now need to sort the actual wiring for the TPS and for the APS or APP. Uh, APP1 has to be on number channel 4, that one. On AVI1, AVI4, sorry. So APP1 to AVI4 as per, let's find that diagram, that diagram there. If you're looking for it, I'll try and remember to put a description in the description, a link to that uh, picture, the diagram. This one is on 5, APP2 on AVI5, TPS1 on AVI2. And that leaves this one on AVI3. Do a reboot. Now I haven't got the throttle body plugged in. That's why there are no voltages here. I'm going to do that because I don't want it to have a bit of a freak out. I'm going to start. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to calibrate the APS. So we've got calibration here. And we're going to go through the instructions again. Ensure the pedal's not depressed. Calibrate. 
and it says there calibration is good. I push it all the way down and push calibrate. Um, so that's that bit done. And then I'm going to plug in the, the, the throttle body. And what's really interesting with the Heltec, it uh, doesn't matter which way you put the throttle motor. You just wire it up to the throttle motor, each of the wires, and it does the rest itself. Right, I'm going to push calibrate, and we're going to see if it works. I can hear the throttle working. It's not liking it yet. It says there is a calibration error there. Doing stuff. And this is doing it all itself. Now I'm standing over here. This is a, this is the laptop. There's the pedal. It's actually going through the process a second time or a third time. Still saying that there's an error. I haven't gone through before this and tried it. Okay, so Look at that! Calibration, good! That is awesome. And I'm going to... I'm just going to do a bit of reboot. It doesn't say I have to. I'm going to do a file, save as. Give it a number that I know about. Let's see if it works, eh? Woo! It's working. That is so easy. That has to be one of my absolute favourite things on the Haltech. Once I put the right inputs into it, then I'm happy. Throttle's working. Woohoo! So that's how we set up the drive by wire throttle. Uh, it's working, it's doing what it should. Make sure you put those inputs in the right place, otherwise, you'll just have a world of hurt. Um, and uh, I'm not going to be caught out a second time. I'm going to go review my notes and change them so we get it right. And I'm going to go on with setting up the rest of this computer. I'm ready to run uh, this VVTi. Uh, happens to be a 3UZ. 3UZ, see? Long thing. 